Oh, I better fix my brakes if I want to I'll move it around the if I need to pull out of my garage at all because otherwise it's pretty much a pain to stop with uh, unless I use the handbrake then it's not so bad but I like to use the regular brake so with that these broke off here's my, the rest of my master cylinder for the brake calipers so um, these end up I already loosened them up and they were Kind of just jab, jabbed in there, and this one too was broke it free there, and bought new ones for that. And so we're gonna put some new ones in and uh, see how the brakes feel after that. Let's see how this goes. Oh, they look like the correct replacement for these. I guess these ones didn't come with the rubber grommets. So I'll probably just use the old ones for now until I get some new ones. So I'm going to run to the store tonight and get some. Waiting on parts, so I got the brake caliper off. Looks like my bolt here is actually bent going into my master cylinder, so that's no bueno. I don't know if I get a new master cylinder, I hope not. That'd be nice not having to. But I picked up a brake line because I know right there, right. At the base here, a little spray. You actually see a little bit on the wall, on the frame there still. It'll spray brake fluid, so that's that heart uh, flexible line there is shot. So, because that's part of the flexible line there. Um, I picked up one, wrong one. Yeah, so I'll have to go back to get that switched out here eventually. But yeah, so I gotta get that switched out. I did replace my ABS sensor here, speed sensor or whatever that is. Um, got that, just a clip on the back side of here. Unclip it and then it goes down through there. So I just put that in while, while working on it because why not? And just bolted down the one bolt there. So didn't take long, just got her done and got the old out. Perfect. So because that's not supposed to be in two pieces but it was when i bought it anyways yep i'm gonna keep on mo moving here and just pull out this brake line and take it back to the parts store and make sure I get the right one so oh i sped ahead again um got a little bit caught up because this thing was leaking pretty bad so but yeah, I got the new brake line, finally picked that up, got the right one here, and uh, got it bolted in up here, and tightened up the line up on top there. Got the new ABS speed sensor um, clipped into this new part of the um, flexible line here. So now I got a little bit of finagling, fit this up in here. 
course. Now I don't know how to get that. I just need a bolt was on for now. I gotta I get more parts coming. Because this bolt here that goes on the master cylinder is actually bent and does not want to seal up properly, so. So I'm just gonna over torque it just so it slows down that leak. Perfect. Like new. Got a new bolt on the way. And then I'll put the new copper washers, I believe that. Copper? Yeah. Put those in with the new bolt when I get it. I had to order it though, nothing not on hand, so tighten those up real quick. I got all new hardware here uh, for the most part. Everything from here to here, <laughs> brake system wise. I know my ABS light was on, brake light was on, so I'm hoping that after we get these blood that things will start disappearing and I can actually get a little bit closer to being drivable. So. Yeah, I'll do it for today. I gotta undo this bolt here on there. I get a new one and then put the new washers in there. And I guess it's called a banjo bolt if I heard them right. Um, yeah, get that done. Then brakes will be fixed at least. And otherwise, that's it for now. I'm gonna call it a night and probably work on some more tomorrow. Alright, guys. Let's finish up these brakes. Oh no, it's already loose. Yeah. Took the lugs off already. Obviously. There we go. Yeah. Got loose. All you need for this your new bolt, and two washers on both sides of the flexible um, brake hose where it goes under the caliper. Slider in place. Perfect. Ta da! Alright, guys, well, here's the old up here. Oh, it looks like the only thing really holding it in there is the four bolts here that mount it to the frame. Um, then we got the one nut on the steering linkage down here. I have already removed that, so that's all good. Otherwise, no, so it's four bolts, and I have two lines up here. After I get these two lines loosened up and out, threaded out, I should be able to just zip it all apart, pull it out, and... Oh, and also the one bolt on the... Steering column. Can't forget that.
I think I'm gonna have to take this bolt out so this bar drops so then I can hopefully uh, get it out now. We'll try that. This is a mess. It's so oily from the leaks. It's just ain't great. Ain't great, I tell ya. Missing my hammer. There it is. See if that did it. Perfect. Love it. Well, guys, here I have my new used, but new to me. Uh, gear box from my steering power steering here um, my old one is leaking profusely right here and um, I checked at my um, auto parts store and there's only like rebuild kits for them there are remands but they are quite expensive so at least the ones that they were saying at least the prices they were giving me were pretty high so I ended up hopping for the um, this used one here got it from local salvage yard and uh, we're gonna put this thing in and uh, all I have to do first to get this thing prepped they left um, uh, where the lines go in these flared nuts here so I gotta take those out uh, other than that though that's all I gotta do seems pretty decent pretty clean so I'll just um, get throw it in as soon as I get the old one out so Let's get these off and keep moving. 
So flipped her over and realized she's kind of crusty in here a little bit in spots. So I'm gonna do a little scrape in here quick and just give her a little and then, you know, hopefully she'll be looking just like new. That would be cool. There is a bit of dirt on here. greasy towards this end so hopefully that's not from this leaking so that would kind of defeat the purpose hopefully it's just from the engine leaking onto this from the old whatever this used to be on that looks pretty snazzy Grab this random box here. Alright. Decent, decent. Grab a paint can can of paint here. Yeah, I feel like if it was for a stole in here, I might just do the trick. Nice satin black. So I should tape this off here, but I'm gonna probably just do the right thing and just uh, skip that. So here we Perfect. I like it. I like it. Alright. Perfect. This will look like pristine after this. Oh. How about that? Huh. Basically rebuilt. It's awesome. <laughs> no, really, my experience on this is that from past work I've been doing is that a little bit of paint goes a long way. It, otherwise, this thing would just keep rusting. So even if this starts falling off in next week, who cares? It's still going to be better shape than it was when I bought it. So it's got to be better. So just a little bit of paint here is going to help it make it look a lot nicer for a lot longer because it'll probably still take at least a year before it starts falling off if it, if it ends up being that soon so yeah all right well we've got the old off and i realized when i was taking off that there is one important thing i need to have if i put the, the other one on i need that arm to be pretty close to where it's at and it looks like it needs to go in a little bit further, but it's pretty close. So that's good. So I'll have to get this in. I'm going to get a new inner tire, or the tie rod here. That one's... I, I messed up the nut trying to just bop, um, hammer that off. And also uh, the um, seal's all blown out anyway, so... I was getting a new one. It needs to get an alignment. This is the time to do it before the alignment. So, might as well. So, yeah. I'm going to have to adjust this, so I'm going to get a wrench on here and kick it out just a little bit further. It looks like it, at least. Alright. Well, I thought of this. I'll just do this real quick. Um, I think... 
It might have moved a little bit when I was pulling it out like that. Right there, just moved a little bit. It keeps leaking fluid pretty bad. So, but anyways, that gets me a ballpark on the height. And that should be pretty close. So, I think I'm just gonna go with that. Put her in. Go from there. So I guess worst case scenario, I'll have to re. Put, um, redo where the drive shaft connects to it. Steering shaft. Steering shaft column uh, connects to it there. I might have to um, turn it a half turn or, or a full turn or so. But I think that should be pretty close. So like I said, I think that works. So we'll go from there. And now I got everything all apart. So I just got to put it all back together. Makes sense, right? Should be pretty easy. I say every time, even though usually it's not. So, we'll, uh, we'll give her a shot. See how she goes from here. Ah, perfect. Love it. This will be fun. I gotta make these so dang heavy duty, yet I had a leak of mine. Oh. Perfect. Alright, well we're halfway in place. Not really, but you know, optimism. It's close, right? Not really. Oh, there we go. Hey, that got up there quite pretty close. Okay, it's not really held in there with anything. Steering is in. Woo. 
I like it. All right, guys. Well, I think I got it back. Um, I did do a quick test run, and it looked like that was uh, it needed to get turned a full turn. So I had to turn it so the steering I had to turn the steering wheel in there uh, a full rotation counterclockwise, and because uh, it didn't seem like this arm was going far enough to the right, and when I went to the left, it almost looked like it was about to hit this. So it got pretty close. I don't remember being ever that close. So, so yeah, adjusted there. Now we can start it up actually and check for leaks. See if uh, this one's gonna be a better unit. Here we go. It looks really good. I don't see any leaks up here. The best part was on the bottom here. Right there. Right above that, um, this arm here, where it goes into this, the gearbox, that's where it was leaking profusely. And that looks dry. Looks really good. I'm very happy with that. So, this unit should be good. Sweet! Woo! I did top off the um, power steering fluid and this is the quietest it's been because all the other times I've been running this thing it's always squealing because the power steering is always low. It keeps leaking all over my floor. And all, all that fluid gotten worse from the, the change but since I had to change out that part but still it was pretty bad beforehand but it looks pretty good for once so happy another step closer at least well guys like I said this I need to replace this mostly because I smashed the nut so many times that it's just not gonna be usable anyways plus it's already leaking fluid around the boot so I decided I got a new one Looks like it's almost identical replacement to her. This one comes with a castle nut. And uh, there's a spot for a greaser, so I'll have to get a greaser for it. I don't think I have any handy right now, but that's easy enough to add in at least. So, new parts. Woo! Let's throw this sucker in and hopefully get our steering working. Hi right, guys, now I can finally get my steering fin finally wrapped up here. Got the greaser on there. Okay. And now I've got to do a bunch of rotating, that's all. right where it was on the old one so the same length so I just want the same amount of rotations as how, how it took to take it out I'll have to, and I could see a rust line from where the old one was so it wasn't too hard to line up okay falls right in place now, I'm throwing this up in there. Per. 
perfect. that so with that I like it There you guys, I've got steering again. That doesn't leak, I think. Well, it's been a couple days since uh, power steering's been put in and it does look dry still, so that's good. The power steering pump does. Everything below it is still wet from when I pulled out the old one though. But everything power steering looks great. So that's, that is a huge relief, that is awesome. Now the Wrangler will at least start up and run, and now it will stop, and now it steers. So I'm just glad to get it this far, because when we had it trying to get loaded on the trailer and getting it off the trailer into this garage, it was very troublesome. And so now that we can actually do that with ease, either loading on trailer, pulling it out of the garage, put it back in the garage, because otherwise it was just too cumbersome. Anyways, thanks for watching along. Make sure you hit a like down below, and uh, if you want to see more of this stuff, make sure to subscribe. It's free. Nothing to it. Just lets you know when you get um, when I put up another video. But yeah, that's all it is. Subscribe, like below, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks.